Welcome back, Fluffs and non-Fluffs, to a different uh, First Suit Friday adventure. Uh, just because of the nature of this video, I'm not actually going to be in suit, as it'd be a little bit hard to uh, actually operate the computer effectively. So I'm just going to sit behind the scenes and use my little stand in here. Uh, so not too long ago, uh, some people were uh, talking about the Hero Forge and uh, just creating cool characters on it. So I figured I'd give it a go and make uh, my Sona in um, a style that I like for it. And honestly, I'm not too uh, uh, disappointed with how this actually turned out. Obviously, I can't do all fancy markings, so I'm not going to have like the colored tips. But for a standard D&D uh, &D wolf character, I think it turned out uh, suitable. My play style is usually that of a mage or a rogue, so hence the two daggers and the staff on the back. And obviously, uh, Pet Fox representing Nani or a familiar there. Uh, but uh, obviously the video is just not going to be about the completed one. I'm going to go into a different tab here. And we'll make one of my other Sonas, or at least see if it's possible. We'll make Valen since... He is a dragon, and I could make him into a different style uh, here. So, as you see on the right here, you get your different uh, classes. Uh, I have to go with the half dragon as far as everything goes, but let's do a search for dragon. Obviously, there's the kobold. Uh, half demon skeleton. Yeah, I think the half dragon will be the best base to use. And that's it for this species. Let's go on to head. Obviously, dragon going to be the most uh, stand-in variant for the face. Uh, ears, Valens is actually part wolf, so we'll give him the wolf ears, but I wonder if I can scale those down a little bit, uh, just so they're not huge. Yeah, honestly, yeah, he does have a little bit more of a feline ear, so it kind of fits. Uh, let's go into the hair. Now he has more of a spiky Dragon Ball Z hairstyle, so let's see if there is anything that can remotely go like that. Well, that is definitely Dragon Ball Z, but that's not the hairstyle. You can make a Vegeta, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, there's a cloud or... Goku. Eh, that's more fitting. I might leave that one for now because that's the I think the most fitting that I'm going to get with his style of hair. It's not a very uh a very easily modeled one. Uh he does not have a beard. Actually he does have a goatee, so Gotta give him a goatee. Uh, brows. He's going to have very sharp ones. Let's see. Now, bushy pleated. Eh, we'll just do plain eyebrows. He doesn't, I generally don't showcase him with it, but he does have it. Eh, we need the it, eh, no. I was going to say, uh, I need more protruding eyes. But we'll just go with the draconic uh, eye coloration later on. Uh, and for teeth, going to have very sharp, jagged ones. Horns, obviously, we got to go with horns. Uh, so he actually has a few 
different style of horns. I wonder if I'm actually able to place a few. Because he does have... a few variations. Don't think I can see that with snake could uh, want to get tamer horns because his horns aren't that pronounced. That could work. He has three sets of horns, so that could definitely work as far as the look for it. Yeah, let's see how these look. Yeah, that could look good. Let's see if they have uh, that style. On all three. There, yeah. It's not the exact uh, stylization that his horn layout is, but it's the best that I would actually probably be able to get it given the uh you know just the basic uh composition animal like torso uh legs gonna be lizard like legs uh but let's just check to see what other yeah that's probably the best looking legs uh height We'll make him a big boy because he is a very, very tall dragon. Uh, he is more focused in the upper torso than the lower torso. Can give him more of a straight posture. Pretty wide. Uh, let's see, arm length. Give him a little bit longer. Waist, pretty buff boy, big boy. So, also pretty big belly. Uh, that do curves, pretty thick as well. Uh, booty, pretty thick as well. Let's see, is there the Wings, yes, there we go. Large bird, fairy, dead mechanical wings, lunar moth, bone dragon wings, leather wings. Closed demon wings, open demon wings, closed end wings. Did I pass the dragon wings? Epic dragon wings. Okay. Yeah. Those are epic. Don't know how well that will uh, come into later, but eh, we'll leave it for now. And tail. He will need a tail. Lizard tail will do. Although, let's see if one of the other tails do. That could do as well. Unfortunately, he has a mixture between his tail. It's more of a... Ah, God damn it. Well, 
I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, yeah, perfect time for the server for it to go under maintenance. That's hilarious timing. Uh, anyway, let's get back to where we were. So we were in the body. We were just doing the wings. Or just getting the tails. Uh, was there anything extra? Uh, get some spikes. Clothing. Uh, I'm wanting him, if I was to make him into a D&D &D character, I could definitely see him as either a Dragon Knight or um, a heavy two-hander. So let's go with the Dragon Knight. Kind of blocks his uh, face a little bit, but it looks cool. Uh, and then I think this just kind of goes through if you want to customize some of the pieces. So let's see. Uh, but there is, yeah, I think we'll stick with the custom gloves, Dragon Knight gauntlets, legs, I think he has the, yep, feet are not available for the class, and don't need a mask. Uh, gears. Alrighty, so let's go with a big giant broadsword. Futuristic broadsword. Do this one. Uh, ooh, that looks cool. Mechanized great sword. Yeah, let's stick with the runic one. I like the uh, look of it. Uh, later on, we'll be able to change the pose and everything there. Uh, on the side, let's get him some potions. And on the other side, we will get him. Uh, let's see, what would he want to have? I had to put it on that side. Potion on that side. All right, back. Unable to have anything. Back items. Uh, let's get a good... Uh, I wonder if there's a great shield. Elven leaf shields. Dragon Shield. Yeah, let's do that and then on the side do a single handed sword. We'll get those nice and taken care of later. Looking pretty beastly. Uh, nothing to do here with the mouths, rings. Uh, we'll give him a diamond ring. Piercings. Don't really need any of that. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. And let's go with the what the rim is. Give it a nice curved. Get a hmm, what kind of put a mimic in there. <laughs> Uh, and as we, we'll just do a fun hero forge label uh, no mounts available poses uh, it's only limited to this pose for this uh, mount let's go ahead and go into the face uh, give him a 
big snarl and a giant rah. Eyes won't really be able to see those until the coloration. Uh, shoulder. Let's twist that up and there we go. And one thing I sucks that we can't do with uh, this one is actually what I'll do is I'll get rid of the shield on the back facing a little bit more forward uh, more details on the horns and the wings <laughs> We, hi guys. We, uh, tilt. Uh, it does not look like I'll be able to really, yeah, I can tilt them in a little bit more. Very nice. Horns. Not really going to be able to do too much with those. Let's see, can we give it a little bit more of a downward tilt? Cool. All right, yeah, that's uh, decent for those. Uh, tail. Wish there was a little bit more for the scaling options of that, but I think the tail is fine as is. Let's go ahead and get into the coloration. We'll use a base to start with, uh, just to make it easier. Uh, Valence has more of a purplish hue, so we will leave them as that and then edit the original colors. Uh, he has a black beard. His belly is more of a pale violet. Uh, Probably more so along that lines. His wing tips are a little more purple. Unfortunately, that colors all of them rather than uh, a few of them. So unfortunately, it's not going to be entirely accurate going that way. But I can live with that. Uh, cloth. What is it talking about? Cloth. Eyes. He has very purple eyes. Eyebrows are just black. Head top. Black. Jaw black. Nails are purple. Or blue. We'll just go with a uh, purple to keep the coloration uh, the same. Uh, and he has a. I think that color fits. I mean, it's not as purple as it would normally be, but 
can't really change those, so. Yeah, that's the best color I think I can get. And then just give it a little bit of a uh, red hue to kind of make it look a little bit more purple. Uh, spine spike gradients, we just keep purple. Uh, tail bottom black, or actually no, that needs to be, tail bottom needs to be the Luna Elf, and then tail fin needs to be black and black. There we go. And although that's not really the color for the Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, teeth. Give them a nice uh, yellowish ivory tinge. Throat. Um, ah, that. There. Okay, not looking too bad. Uh, for the armor, we'll do a similar... Uh, theme, I probably won't decorate that as much. Some really cool uh, bases. I like that. Nice little treasure coffer. Uh, is there any other better colorations? That one's not so bad. Prefer more of a blacker coloration, but I'd, without getting too much into custom. Uh, and... Paints. We can get into the eyes. Give him the draconic eyes. Can't really see it, just because of where uh, all the helmets and whatnots in the way. But not looking bad. Uh, I think we can also go in here and uh, kind of just color based on what we want. So I'm wanting more of a black on uh, certain areas. Uh, let's see. Yep, that is not black. There we go. He has black tipped horns. The black scales as well. And get this side as well. Is go back into the paint mixer. We can color this in purple as I want it to. There we go. And hit these up with purple as well. Because uniform. And it looked like it changed the nails back to purple, but.
Yep, it won't let me do all the other colors, so I have to leave it as that, but it looks a lot better than what it was. Yeah, that's honestly really, really fun to uh, uh, go about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this more of a creative session here. Uh, as much as I like to do with the furry stuff, I do need to think of better ideas from time to time. So doing more of the artistic stuff and uh, just kind of the freedom of unique stuff uh, just kind of helps relax and do other things. So uh, if you like what you see here, uh, go to the site and actually support the people. Uh, one really thing, uh, cool thing that I like uh, is... Uh, when my friends and me do do uh, some D&D sessions through tabletop, uh, this actually does have a uh, purchasable download to tabletop simulator. Uh, so if we ever get some uh, more custom stuff going, I can definitely uh, see myself uh, purchasing one. Hashtag not sponsored, of course, but I mean... Um, this whole video is using their system, so might as well uh, show that off that you can purchase it. And if you want the actual like uh, coloration or uh, statuette of it, you can buy and uh, have those shipped to you. But until then, guys, hope you enjoyed the video here. If you like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, content, I will get back to you then. But until then, bye-bye.